Heraclitus says everything is fire. Thales says everything is water. Anaximander says everything is the boundless. Anaximander says everything is air. Now, Heraclitus is not trying to do the same thing as these other philosophers. What question? That, by that I mean he's not trying to answer the same question as these others. These others are trying to answer the question comp about composition. What question is Heraclitus trying to answer? And how is that different from what these other philosophers are doing? So like I said, Heraclitus is not trying to answer the question of what is everything composed, right? He's not trying to say everything's composed of fire. No. By the way, he's not trying to do form either, right? He's not trying to answer the question of what is form and then say everything is defined as fire. He's not doing that either. He's doing something different. Instead, he's trying to answer, and trying to answer the question, what does it mean to exist? He's going to answer that question with a different one. And the different one in this case is, what's the unity in the diversity? You answer the question, what does it mean to exist? By answering the question, what's the unity? Heraclitus is dealing a lot with change. He sees a problem with it. <laughs> what's this problem of change that he's dealing with? This problem of change that Heraclitus is dealing with is the unity and diversity. What's the unity in the diversity? The diversity right, is the changes. It's not the variety of things that exist. It's the changes. He's not asking what causes the change, right? The unity is not what causes the diversity. That's not it. I'm not sure he's very interested in that question. At least not in this, uh, at least not what we've read here. Now he's trying to answer the question of what does it mean to exist by answering what's the unity in the diversity. The diversity is the changes. The unity is what remains the same. So this tree here, this sort of tree, I guess this is a tree, right? This was not always this tall, right? At this point it's getting upwards of eight feet tall, something like that started as a little sprout. Well, something had to stay the same in order for this tree to be this tree. Now it's gone through a lot of changes. It was a little sprout about yay high. Now it's eight foot tall. It's got a lot more leaves than it used to. Same is true with all these trees. There's something that stayed the same such that it is that tree. And some of these are really big trees. Some of these are rather tall and rather thick around. The problem of change that his hair class is dealing with it is not the question or the problem of what causes the changes. The question is, what's remaining the same? What's the unity, what stays the same amongst all the diversity, all the changes? And Heraclitus thinks he can answer the question of what, is, what it means to exist by answering this question. What's the unity in the diversity? Thales, Anaximander, and Anaximandus think they can answer the question, what does it mean to exist, by answering the question, what's it composed of? Pythagoras thinks he can answer the question, what it means to exist, by answering the question, what's its form? And Heraclitus thinks he can answer the question, what does it mean to exist, by answering the question, what stays the same amongst all these changes? Mm -hmm.